Yo, what's going on boys? You're obviously watching this video because you want to be a pro gamer, don't you? Hell, why am I even asking? Of course you fucking do, you stupid cunt. Right, so let's guess you're all about the age of about 16, alright? And you're about to finish school and you know, you, your pussy slaying days are over and now you got to get some serious work done. And obviously your parents think getting work done means, you know, you're starting your level 1 hairdressing B-Tech course. But uh, unfortunately, you didn't get enough E's and F's for the level 1 B-Tech exam. So, you know, the obvious second option is going to be become a pro gamer, isn't it? Well, let's be honest, buddy. It's either that or future pathways. And trust me, you don't want to go there. It's like the Hunger Games all over again. Right, so obviously, boys, I'm here to help you out, ain't I? So tip number one, boys, is going to be treat everything as a competition. Now, you might wonder, what does that mean? What, what does he mean, treat everything as a competition? Well, I'll give you an example, right? If you're at the supermarket and your mum's told you to get two tomatoes, and you know if you don't get back with those two tomatoes, you are going to get the bout tonight, all right? And you see this old woman reaching for them tomatoes, and you're about 10 metres away, right? What you got to do, you've got to sprint as fast as you can. Jump in the air to kick that bitch out of the way of those tomatoes. Because you know you ain't getting that whip. So just remember, boys. Win at everything. Treat everything as a competition. No matter how harsh it may seem, everything needs to be a competition, all right? Always remember that. That's tip number one. And just before I get into tip number two, I'll let you know there is a last resort tip, which will be the last tip. I'm not sure what number that is yet. Because I haven't thought about all the tips yet. Shit, I probably shouldn't have told them that. I know, boys. I know you want to know the last resort right now. But I'm sorry, boys. It's, it's the last resort. And you got it can only use it in certain situations when you want to be a pro gamer really, really fast. All right? I'll keep the tension building for that one. All right, boys. Tip number two. Never trust anyone. That's including teammates. Your friends. Anyone you play a game with. Even your parents, your grandparents, all of your family, anyone, don't trust them. Now you might be wondering what sort of situations this might come in, you know? Say, obviously, obviously, because you're obviously all pussy slayers, like complete pimps, you know? Obviously, I can tell by, if you're watching this video, you're obviously a pimp or a poon slaying wizard, right? So if you're one of your, one of your many, many grills, come over to you, and they say, you know, pregnant, you fucking, you throw that bitch away, right, you find the nearest bin, and you throw her in there, mate, and you run as fast as you can, running as fast as you run away from pathways, alright, future pathways, you don't want to go there, mate, really don't want to go there, bad mistake, now you might say, Tom, I am a poon slaying wizard, but I like to do it on the down low, so nobody really knows, which obviously is what we all do, because we're all on the down low, you know, you can't, you can't call out that you're a poon slaying wizard, because that's just not right, you know, you can't, that's unfair for everyone else who's not a poon slaying wizard, which is fine, you know, boys. So, another situation, that could be, you know, just not trusting teammates when they give out the worst, shittiest calls ever, when they don't even know half of what the map is, if you're not playing Dust 2, mate, they don't have a fucking clue what the, what the call outs are, alright? So just remember that, rule, boys. Don't trust anyone. All right, boys. Tip three. Let's go. All right, this one is a bit... Um, don't know how to say this word. I don't even know if this is a word. Nationalism. All right? So you can't be from two countries, all right? Or should I say... No, I'll just say two countries, all right? You can't be from the UK, United Kingdom, which obviously is, isn't a country. It's... Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and whatever the other ones are. Fuck them. Nobody really cares. And Australia, all right? Because we all know UK CS and Australian CS don't stand a fucking chance in hell, mate. Uh, I'll tell you what, mate. If you're from the UK or you're from Australia, I reckon this guy has more chance of being a pro than you. He has no fucking hands, mate. But that's just the way these sort of things are. It's not your fault, boys. It's not your fault. It's just how your family decided to breed. And they did it wrongly because UK and Australia don't really, you know, 
So obviously, boys, as you can tell, I'm from the UK, so my dreams of becoming CSGO Pro are over already. Didn't even need to try. So obviously now, my second chance to get away from the level one hairdressing B-Tech exam is to become a YouTuber, right? And obviously, that's why this clickbait title got you in here, isn't it? You know, you got to make a living somehow, ain't you? Otherwise, you're going straight to Future Pathways, which is basically Hunger Games. Or you're going fucking going with Chantal and the and the EastEnders lot to bloody level one hairdressing, ain't you? So you know, I'd I'd much rather make clickbaity titles and you know get fatty stacks off YouTube, you know, because obviously I'm making fatty stacks right now. Anyway, boys, I've got one more tip, one more real tip before I go into the last resort tip. All right, right, boys. So let's suppose you've tried all these amazing tips that I've already given you and for some reason for some magical reason they're just not working for you and you just need that one little extra little bit of push before you're headshotting all them all them Russians so right I give you the last tip it's rather simple actually obviously some of you might not be able to do it because you're pussies but yeah the, se the last tip I was gonna say second that the last tip is to get a sex changer right boys because we all know if you're a grill you don't even need to become a pro gamer anymore. You just become a live streamer, stream for about 30 minutes, make a couple of grand every day. Easy peasy, am I right, boys? It is easy peasy. Now, you are going to have to actually expose yourself a little bit, and obviously, you know, you're going to have to, you know, show the cleavage a little bit more, which is, you know, that's absolutely fine, mate, because, you know, them holy 12-year-olds are going to get their mum's credit card, and they're going to slot it straight in that computer, and they're going to give you all their mum's money. And there's no way they can get it back. It's fucking brilliant. And I'll give you a tip inside the tip, all right, boys. Don't ask me how I know this, but if you're not getting, you know, if you're not getting the the ten, twenty dollars, the big, the big fatty donations while she's showing off your amazing rack, all you gotta do, right? You just gotta pretend you drop your pen, get off the chair, you know, bend over a little bit, you know, accidentally make the camera a bit bigger, so you know the camera's showing the whole screen, not just like you know the little square in the in the bottom, bottom of the corner of the screen. What you want to do, you want to accidentally slip and then drop your pen. Slip so you press the short key to get your fat camera on full full view, right? So obviously, you know, they can get a good view of what, what, what they're dealing with here, what they're donating for. Fucking pick up your pen, but like pick it up really slow. Like almost like you're doing your shoelaces. And it's just, just fucking easy as that, boys. Easy money. Alright, so I'm going to give you the last resort, alright? So I'm just going to come straight out with it. It's pre-workout, isn't it, boys? So, there's two ways that you can actually be affected by this. Here's the first one. <laughs> feel pretty good. <laughs> and I'm not, uh, I'm not scared at all. I just feel kind of... I feel kind of invincible. <laughs> me too. I got a very positive attitude about this. Good, me too. Yeah. As you can see, that one was a rather normal and positive, you know, kind of reaction to it. But then again, there is um, this one. Which, you know, is a little bit different, you know, um, you know, it, it, that's fine, that, that reaction will be absolutely fine, you know, um, I'm sure no one will notice that you'll be taking it and, you know, tournaments, you know, I'm pretty sure they don't really allow, like, steroids and pre-workout stuff, but, you know, you know, as long as you're getting one of these two reactions, you'll be fine to it, as long as, you know, like, poo isn't, like, leaking out your ass or something, then... You'll be fine. They, they they won't have a clue what's going on. They won't have a clue. 